Yeah, let's see. Benjamin says, um, Mr. K, please, why do you customize your candlesticks to be blue and white and not any other color? I think that's a good question. Um, I color the candles blue and uh, white because multiple reasons. One is it's easy to see. It's clear, clear to see. Uh, blue and white, it looks good, and that's the reason. And also, I used to use green and red, like classic green and red, but uh, I decided not to do it because, you know, we have bias towards the colors. So red bias is like stop or, um, you know, error, or uh, green is to go, or, uh, yeah, like go sign green. So, uh, you know, when you see green candles, that means you might feel go for a trace. But you see, if you see many red candles, that means you don't want to trade. Like uh, these small things can affect psychology, and that's why I don't color green and red on my candlesticks. So, I, to be honest, I prefer to make everything white. Uh, but uh, so when I back test, for example, when I back test, I make all candles white because even if I color color everything white, I still see whether it's a bullish or bearish candlesticks because of these chart patterns or price action, you know which direction these candles are. But uh, I color white and blue, and this is only for the live stream purpose. But uh, to avoid, to reduce the bias towards the market, this is my color here. And Ichimoku also. Ichimoku also, um, I have a gray kumo. I don't color uh, red and green kumo. I color, this is a, a dark gray and the light gray kumos from the same reason. Yeah, Chikou Span and two other lines, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, I have to color because uh, unless I color, you can't see it. Especially if you're watching from mobile, it's difficult to identify, and that's why I color them. But uh, if I use myself, then I won't color them either. But still, I can recognize which lines and whether the market is bullish or bearish. So, yeah, you can try. I, I mean, uh, you can try. You can uh, try with the uh, everything white candlesticks and see if you can trade. I Actually, that was the idea when I was when I had the loss, when I had the huge loss, huge drawdown, um, I decided to turn everything white because I was depressed and also I was, you know, kind of, uh, kind of I was having kind of crazy mindset at that time. So I came up with the, idea, with the idea of turning everything white and see if we can trade. And that helped a lot. It helped a lot to improve my own trading skills and price action skills. Thank you for watching the video until the end, but before ending, let me briefly share with you one important concept of mine as a pro trader. That is, I'm not focusing on one single trade result, but my main focus is a result over time. Because most of the traders only focus on one single trade result or a couple of trades results whether it's a win or loss, and they tend to get emotional from trade to trade. And they don't really focus on the result in a long run. So remember to focus on your trades results over time, at least for a month, and don't get emotional by a result of one single trade. If you liked today's video, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified as I keep uploading a new video or as I do the next live. So I wish you a great trade success on your way and I hope to see you on the next live or video. Alright, so until then, stay gold and matane!